the state where every day stay tropical and everybody riding something that's droppable with 22 and 23s on the auto mode. I keep the 4 4 in case a player want to tear. You think I'm soft because I ain't from the east or west. I stay with the ice on my wrist and my neck. I stay with the tech creeping through the projects in case players try to put holes in my legs. I squeeze off and put holes off a player's neck. What you expect, mommy, me to be there soft because I'm getting money but I'm still a crime boss. I still floss and I still talk these girls up. Roll up in the Bentley with my arm crushed. Like player what? Because I can't be touched with a pole from 20 feet and every time you see me I'd be at least 20 deep. Balling like I play for the Knicks of the Heat. Off in VIP popping champagne with my peeps. <laughs> been 20 plus years that we've had kind of a concentrated effort to make some changes here but what it's resulted in is a band-aid we got a the problem is still here the drugs are still here the prostitution is still here the um, it's, it's like this community the forgotten community is at a standstill we aren't seeing the rapid change that we need to see take place here. And that's the problem. Driving through for a few minutes, you may not be able to capture that. But when you live here, in, in the 33311, you live it. And you know that it's still alive. And that poverty is well and doing fine. And that's a sad, sad statement to have to make in the year 2001. For five consecutive years, the 33311 zip code uh, in Broward County uh, were the leading exporter of young people into the criminal justice system. So that, that fluctuates, obviously, from year to year, but it is something that really caught our attention. When you talk about revitalizing 33311, for what end or what purpose? And the ultimate end for us is development of children. Everybody talks about developing children, and yet, in many ways, we treat children as they're expendable. I really want to see a place in a community where young people, irrespective of their sex or their race or their income or what their parents do, they really have an opportunity to grow to their full potential. My dream is that this is a place that will stand the test of time. It's the beginning of something. It's something that will begin to make a difference in the kids who live in 33311. And if it makes a difference for them, then maybe it'll make a difference for their kids. I just hope it makes a difference because I want to help make a difference in the lives of people in 33311. I see a lot of energy that just needs some leadership and some direction to be able to move forward. And really provide an example of how a community like this can be transformed and how children growing up in a community like this can surpass the achievement and development levels of children even in more affluent communities. That's my vision. <laughs> Is this really the world we want to leave to them?
a mother's baby. They need some loving. But our father's children need some fresh air to breathe. It seems to me Just seems to me The time is coming Gather everyone and Let's make a better place for them Look at what we are doing From me to you From us to them Let's give Oh, we've got to give Because your child is my child They are child our child There's one child There's one child There's our child There's just our child We're just one big old family It just seems to me Just seems It just seems to me Let's make a better place to live It seems to me Oh, it seems to me Does it seem to you It seems to me Does it seem to you It just seems, it just seems to me